Akisha my mom called and woke me up five minutes before my alarm went off this morning and I was like <laughs> I was so mad I was like because all night the dogs and the fucking critters and the fucking souls every soul in my house was just like and my brain was like hey you're just gonna focus on all of this instead of getting to rest and i was like okay so i woke up this morning got to work did my teas and my cell bars were set up and i was like awesome possible and my ship's on and i was like awesome possible and They were like, I think we're going to start doing it that way. And I'm like, well, that was a big help. But setting it out in the morning personally is how I familiarize myself with what I, I need for the day. And how much, like, you know, if I got to go produce, I got to think about what's in the cooler. Or think about what, you know, is not. <laughs> so I'm like, when, when other people set it up. And then sometimes they set it up funny. And sometimes they take pans back to the kitchen and I forget what's going on. And I'm like, okay. But work was awesome-ish. It's Fish Friday, but it was pretty slow for Fish Friday, which was super awesome, actually. Even though I still did not, like, I still had to do fucking everything else, it feels like. You know? Like, for instance, I did not have to fucking stay over 30 extra minutes to um, do the tray and take the chickens off and burp on the clock. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Although that probably did happen once or twice. Um, whatever. Holly was in the deli about 10.30 to a little after two, I think, and it was awesome, it was great, it was nice to have somebody to go to from across the, the, the kitchen, and um, we've been passing each other notes through, like, I write on boar's head slip papers, and they write on the receipt paper from the register, I'm like, oh my god, so fun, and... Dude, Ryder was like, he came up to me and he was like, you being good, right? And I was like, of course I'm being good. My heart belongs to my wife only. What do you want from me? <laughs> no, Ryder's a sweet pea. I love him to bits. Um, speaking of sweet peas, Nathan freaking came in this afternoon and was like, hey. For like putting on that fake sad voice, I'm like, oh, sorry, I felt a breeze on my ass and I heard a noise outside and I was like, Somebody is in here. Anyway. He was like, hey. And I was like, what's the matter, baby? <laughs> and he was like, you never ever freaking take me back. And I'm like, that is a lie. Because I sent you a voice message today. And then I sent you three other text messages today. And he's like, well, then I guess you're just not going through. Because I'm not getting them. And I'm like, well, why is the world keeping us apart? <laughs> And today, what else happened to me? Mm, he also said something that I was just like, okay, homewrecker, but okay. <laughs> he said that uh, we were talking about it, and it was about the text messages, and he was like, no, I was like, well, I try really hard not to text anything that would actually lead your wife to believe we are legitimately involved. And he was like, no, she should know by now that, you know, I probably wouldn't. And he said, but if I ever would, ever, Ivy, you'd be the only one. And I was like, okay, homewrecker. <laughs> oh, 